I want to take just a moment and discuss some alternative navigation methods for your perspective viewport. If you have a number pad on your keyboard, you can actually use that number pad while you have focus inside your perspective viewport to slide forward and back. Now this is with the 8 key to go forward and the 2 key to go backward. I can slide left with the 4 key, right with the 6 key. If I hit the 7 key, I go down. If I hit the 8 key, I'm sorry, the 9 key, so 7 to go down, 9 to go up. If I hold down the 1 key, I zoom out, like so. If I hold down the 3 key, I can zoom in, which is very cool. Now, very similar controls can actually be found over on your WASD keys. So if you've already been playing games like Unreal Tournament 3 on your PC, uh, you'll be very used to this. All you have to do is hold down the right mouse button. So while you're holding down the right mouse button, you may already be aware that you can rotate the camera around. But while the button's being held down, you can also use the W key to go forward. And if you combine this with rotating your mouse around, you can get some really nice kind of almost flight simulator style feel. You can hit A to strafe to the left, D to strafe to the right, S if you want to fly backward. So it's kind of like ghost controls. Now if you hit the Z key, you zoom back. Now notice, in, in this case, while we're holding right mouse, it actually maintains that level of zoom. If we hit the C key, we can zoom in. So if you want to look at something way in the distance, you can do that. It's almost like having a, a sniper rifle or a, a camcorder. So it's just some alternate ways you can get around your scene if you don't want to have to drag with a left mouse button. If you just kind of feel a little more natural using WSAD controls, you can do that this way. Now, I'll just take a quick look at what I did. I let off the right mouse button, and I was still holding down W, so all of my static meshes disappeared. That's just one of those things that you should probably be aware of. W does that. It hides static meshes. So if you're really doing this a lot, and you let off your mouse button first, your static meshes will start to flicker. It's not a problem. It's just something that you should be aware of so you don't you know, get scared. Oh, no, all my static meshes are gone. And then you'll know why. So that's just some quick alternate ways to get around your scene if you don't want to use the standard left, right, and left and right together uh, mouse button navigation. And that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks.